five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. This is ridiculous. I did not come to Arizona for snow. I did not come to Arizona for this cold freaking weather. It is zero degrees Celsius or like 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It is cold and this is nuts. Anyway, guys, we literally had to climb a mountain for today's challenge. Flashback. Seriously, hard to believe going from this like comfortable sweater, warm, sunny day, beautiful, clear to I'm gonna need my winter jacket. Snow, cold, down over 30 degrees. Hour drive. Watch this. Look at these views. Like, super cool. The crazy cactuses, cacti on the mountain. Look at this, driving a mountain. Very much, you know, the side of a cliff. And in 30 or 40 minutes, we went from cactuses to evergreens, like pine trees. This is crazy. It just goes to show the difference in climate. Obviously, they get a lot more water up here. They get a lot of snow. Get ready, everybody. Woo, look at that. That is so crazy. It is just massive. And we have snow. 43 minutes, everybody. 43 minutes from sunshine and warmth to snowy mountains. All right, this is just getting insane, everybody. What the living heck? This is nuts. This is, this is not what I signed up for when I came to Arizona. Oh my God. All right, look at this. Freezing cold snow. Desert. <laughs> it is cool. And I don't just mean cold, like, but what a weird, crazy thing, desert. Winter! Holy jumpets! 12 seconds later. We are here at Mount Lemon. Technically, this place is called Summer Haven. Who named this place? This is not Summer Haven at all. This is Winter Haven, which is actually down in Tucson, ironically enough. <laughs> anyway, guys, here we are outside the Saw Mill Run Restaurant. Saw Mill Run Restaurant. One of the most noted restaurants in the area here to do a giant burger challenge. So they have this crazy stack burger challenges. It features kind of like all their burgers, uh, all the different types of burgers stacked. I believe it's seven. Um, I believe it's served with a portion of french fries. Um, I, you have a 25 minute time limit in order to complete and to get the meal for free. And I think it's about a 50 or $60 value. I'll have to clarify that. But yeah, pretty straightforward. Like I said, 25 minutes. I'll give you some exact details of different kinds. But yeah, this is nuts. Oh, and they definitely are smoking meat. I can smell meat in here. So I'm excited. But that's how it has fun, eats food. And, this is ridiculous. We literally had to climb a mountain today for a food challenge, so that's pretty cool. With that, let's go eat. Everybody, so here we are with the burger challenge, technically called the Lumberjack, and really cool. So not only is this like family owned and operated restaurant, but I guess their kind of history of the family here actually dates back to pretty much founding um, this whole place. And the great great grandfather used to have a sawmill up here, hence Sawmill Run, and they have burgers named after the family members and all kinds of cool stuff, lots and lots of history. So like we said, only 25 minutes though, great big burger. It was about a $60 value. Um, for the sides, I went with the french fries and a little side salad here. The french fries look really good. I guess there's like kind of like a chipotle ranch seasoning they put on it. Smells delicious. Um, and then the actual burgers themselves, we have all their seven, including the Sunrise, which is kind of like a like a brunch burger. We have this great crazy one up here with barbecue sauce, onion rings. We have green chilies on here. That's a very, you know, kind of New Mexico slash Arizona thing. Um, the Bob's Burger, which is pretty traditional. We have the Smash Burger, which is like kind of like a little bit like in and out style with like a thousand dollars dressing, which they make here, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, it looks really good, smells good. I have some uh, uh, house made like barbecue sauce extra on the side, some ketchup, some mustard, all the good stuff. Um, so with that, let's get started here just momentarily. I was gonna rock it and a rolling. Um, I am ready to rock. You if I get started? Uh, yeah. All right, everybody. So, like we said, 
25 minutes, not too much time. But yeah, uh, sauces, burger looking delicious. And yeah, what's your favorite burger? Mine's definitely the uh, Alpine burger. The Alpine, which one was that? That's the one that uh, has white cheddar, uh, orange cheddar, pickles, and our sawmill sauce. Let's say maybe the count of like five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Let's do it. Thanks, my man. Sure. All right, everybody, here we go. Let's get a, for the kids' sake, start with our healthy veggies, a little side salad here. Mm. Very nice. Mm. You know what's really cool? The ingredients. They're all kind of super local. For example, the owner goes to the farmer's market every week and gets a lot of these ingredients. All right. There we go, got some birds. Put the onion rings and bacon aside. So here, this is like kind of like the uh, barbecue one. And this one is the, I think it's the, the Bob's Burger there. Mmm, oh wow. Mm. Very nice and seasoned meat. They, um, they call it a, uh, Mash burger. But it's not like they smash it thin like a lot of smash burgers. It's really good. Try a little bit more of their house made barbecue sauce here. Mmm. 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 Oh, wow. Mmm. One second. Mm. Onion powder. Pepper. Nice and sweet. And check it out. Barbecue is made with a uh, like apple cider vinegar. This is the burger with the uh, green chilies on it. Really, really nice. I do love me. Tastes of a roasted pepper. We got the sunrise burger and the uh, one with bacon and blue cheese. Tastes good, man. Yeah, well, it tastes good. What can I say? Let's get some uh, buffalo sauce or hot sauce here. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That's Sunrise Burger. Mm. It has a bacon jam on it. Which they also do here. It is very tasty. This one's blue cheese, caramelized onions, which they do here. It's nice, nice and buttery. Maybe I'll make a little burger. This one has the, uh, some of the Thousand Islands dressing or the uh, sawmill sauce on it. Nice sauce. Obviously, I've got a lot of taste of blue cheese in this one. I can taste that uh, summer sauce, like a thousand ounce dressing. I like it. It's very, um, kind of Big Mac sauce. I'm coming out in six minutes now. Come <sighs> on. 
Woo. <laughs> Comments from the chef. I guess one of those went pretty quick. This mustard's really nice too. It's made with apple cider vinegar. I think that's what it is. Or maybe it's a uh, really sharp wine vinegar. Well, this is very good. Try that barbecue sauce too. Right, amen, Sam. Nice and tasty. Last burger. And then. Uh. Woo! Uh. Woo! Come to the shop. We're on some french fries. And then see, I forgot to change my battery, shucks. A little ketchup though, a little mustard. Some of the barbecue sauce. Now we're down to french fries. French fries and chill. Your barbecue sauce is really nice, man. Yeah. Yeah, you make that, right? Yeah. What's what's in it? The barbecue? Yeah. It was basically just use like a ketchup base and we used a chipotle and we had a little Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I make all the barbecue in house pretty much daily. Cool. Yeah, the sauce was really, it, it had a really nice, distinct flavor, but Dr. Yeah. Pepper. Yeah, Dr. Pepper. A little bit of sweetness and a little molasses. Definitely get some sweetness, but I wouldn't have guessed Dr. Pepper, but yeah. it is good. <laughs> secret ingredient. Not so secret anymore, right? No. <laughs> awesome. Wow. Well, thanks, my man. For sure. All right, let's try these french fries out. Mm. You know what? Hand cut, skin on french fry. It's a nice, like, call the fry spice on it. That's the way I describe it. And I like that it packs a chalua out there, too. So you got options. No shortage of food though. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, swallowed some french fries for me. All right. Excuse me. The comments are shit. All right. Last but not least, guys. Well, let's go fresh. And that. I'd say we're finished right there. About, um, what was that? Uh, 11. You have the time on screen. <laughs> I should have I should, I should kept track. 11, uh, maybe 45, 11, 40. I think something like that. Maybe 12, 40, something. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's done. I will double check here in a moment. But yeah, very, very delicious. Really enjoyed that. We definitely went up, literally, we literally climbed up a mountain to do this challenge. So that's pretty funny. Uh, but. 
Ooh, comments to the chef. I did like the burger. The burger was really nice, very nicely seasoned. Ooh, excuse me. The french fries, the, the seasoning that was really good as well. I think the favorite burger of the sack was the sunrise with the bacon jam on it. That was a very, very nice addition. But in addition, the buns were really good. Um, I like the barbecue sauce. Of course, ketchup, mustard, a little hot sauce. How can you go wrong? All my compliments. Oh, and the burger with the uh, green chili was really nice as well. Um, but that, guys, huge thanks to the staff. Like I said, I'll make sure you finish, but we should get the meal for free, which is pretty cool. And uh, that's about it. So, of course, the next time, guys, hope you say happy, happy, hungry, happy eating. Definitely a quick one, though, I will say that. Definitely, that's a, quite a time limit. With that, everybody, that's about it. So, cool place, Summer Haven. Definitely would recommend checking them out here up on Mount Lemon. Um, but yeah, crazy drive getting up here. And it's gonna be dark here soon, so it'll be a crazy drive going down the mountain. But until next time, everybody, I'll be coming down the mountain. You know, you know that song. So with that, until next time, have a fun day. everybody the time has come not for me to shave my head for you to subscribe so click my face right here subscribe click one of these two videos i picked just for you and exciting news we also have a new channel so if you want to watch challenges raw uncut so you get to hear what the audience says hear my real thoughts opinions noises etc link down below joel hansen raw so check that out appreciate y'all until next time well i'll see you in a minute click on these videos